What's up everybody, thanks for checking out the channel. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix this. So we got a bit of PL premium on the hardwood flooring here. And you know what, this applies to really any imperfection in the hardwood. So this is like the last resort when you get something stuck on the floor here. So here we've got this nice new floor and the installer got a bit of glue on the perimeter of the existing floor. So check it out, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of this. So first I tried to get rid of this by using some goof off or goo gone, that sort of thing. And it didn't really come out. So you can see right here, I kind of scrubbed a little bit too hard and I pulled back some of the stain. So I used a scotch bright pad and some goof off and it got rid of some, but the bigger spots like this one, little spots here and there didn't work. So, so the plan B for this is gonna be to sand it out. So here I've got some 100 grit and I've got some 220 grit to finish. So first we'll give it with the 80, get the bulk off and we'll go from there. So what I'm gonna try to do is just to sand this area. I don't wanna sand the whole thing. If you had a bigger spot, you might wanna sand a larger area, but for this, it's not huge. I mean, uh, you know, it's maybe a quarter inch by half inch. So I'm just gonna sand that one area. Also, I should note, I'm gonna sand with the grain, never against. So I've let this dry up a little bit and you can still see, I guess when it's wet, it hides the, uh, the PL a little bit, the glue. So I just let it dry for a little while and I can see there's a little more here. And I've switched to the uh, 220 grit, just a finer sandpaper. And again, just trying to work out those little spots. And I can see some here. They kind of pop once you sand them. And a reminder, never ever sand opposite the grain. Your scratch lines will pop. So the majority of the sanding that I've done is really just sanded through the clear coat. So usually they do one coat of stain, sometimes two, depending on how dark it is. And then they um, do two coats of clear to, f to protect it and to give it the shine or whether it's a matte or a, a gloss finish on the floor. So, so I've sanded mainly through the clear coat, but there's a few spots like just this one right here, like right here, here, and here that I did get into a bit of the color. So I want to put a little more pigment in those spots just so they don't pop as much. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Home Depot and nine times out of 10, your floor wasn't used with a custom stain color. So most of the time you can get this color off the shelf. So it's, there's a manufacturer called Minwax and they have stain and I think they're at most of the hardwood stores, if not all. Uh, I know Home Depot does carry it and they'll have like 15, 20 colors of uh, different stains. So what you wanna do is potentially get a stain chart from Home Depot, bring it home and see what color it is. So, and then you're just gonna wanna grab like a little sample, there we go, a little sample gallon, not gallon, little little canister. And you just need very little. So that's, uh, once you get that back, I'll wait for you. Go ahead, grab it. Later. All right, you're back. Bring it home and crack it open. All right, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is give this baby a good stir. So you don't want to shake it. It'll create bubbles and it'll just create problems. So give it a good stir. You'll feel there's like a gel on the bottom of the can. Um, I'd show you the can, but this is just, it's just another can. It's not a new wax can. So stir it up good for a good minute or two and then uh, get yourself a disposable brush. Once it's all stirred up, all you need is, actually you can use a brush or a rag. I'm gonna use a paper towel. You just need like very little. And I'm just gonna rub it in to a few areas that are a bit dull. And I'm just kind of work it in there. And I might need a couple coats, but I'm actually gonna put it on a little bit thicker right here. And you know what? I'm actually gonna let it soak in. So I'm gonna leave a bit of stain there. In there, in there, and I'll come back in a couple minutes and rub it off. 
All right, our floor is dry and you can see some of the old tones have kind of pulled back a little bit. They're not as noticeable. So, but you catch the right light and there you go. You can see where there's no clear coat still. So next step, go to clear. So if you're doing a larger area, you're gonna to wanna to give this a quick light sand. And I mean really light, just to get rid of any hairs. So next step is gonna to be to put some polyurethane on. And polyurethane, um, it's just a clear coat and it hardens. Um, you're gonna to wanna to find out if your floor is stained with a semi-gloss or a satin finish. Mine's a satin, so you can see there is a bit of shine even to a satin, but it's not like a gloss, like a gloss would have a really shiny finish. Find out which one you've got, and you can probably do that with the same sample that you grabbed from Home Depot, the chart from uh, Minwax. So with a disposable brush, I'm gonna give this a really, really light coat. So I really don't need much. I just wanna seal it up. So use the light to my advantage here. Now let's give it a quick pass. Always in the green direction in the same direction as the green. Obviously make sure nobody walks on it. If you have any hairs that come off the brush or anything at all, pick them out because they'll dry pretty hard. And actually from where I'm sitting, I, I can't even really tell where it is. I'm actually using the camera, there we go, to see where those dull spots are. There's another one right here. Give it one last pass. And you can already see, like, it's pretty darn good. One thing that I should mention too, super important. Um, if you have a large amount of rags saturated in stain, and I would just take, I think it's polyurethane too, if I'm not mistaken, I've never found out for sure, but they can actually self combust. So I don't know what it is, but it just generates a lot of heat when you have a large cluster of rags saturated in stain. So if they're saturated and in a, like in a cluster, they can literally start a fire. So store them outside and don't keep them all in a bundle. Um, I usually just lay them all flat on the grass or in a bucket of equipment, in a bucket of water. That way you know they're not gonna go up in flames. I just got a little fan going lightly between coats just to speed up the process a little bit too. So there's the finished product. I'm gonna try to use this flashlight to try to pop any imperfections, but I can't find any. As usual, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully you don't have to do this fix, but if you do, at least you know how to do it. So smash that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.